journey out there. Hello brothers and sisters and fellow travelers on planet Earth and welcome to this week's Vegematic Show. I'm truly humbled by some of the beautiful comments that are left on my channel and the the amount of spam and, and bad stuff, I don't know, it doesn't seem to be showing up. Of course I haven't checked my spam file so if I, if you know you've left a comment and I don't, I don't like checking my channel. I just like putting these up once a week, and I, I don't like to be too concerned about what people are gonna think about me or how popular I am. Although you know my magnetic personality is obviously drawing in three or four people, and thank you for that. I'm too tired to go out to New Year's. New Year's and what, what's there to celebrate? Ha! Ah, the dawn of the fascist age! Wonderful! Welcome to 2017! The only good thing I can say is that I made it this far but now I'm starting to wonder if it was really a good thing that I made it this far because now I get to see the destruction of humanity on a global scale in Technicolor Stereo. And uh, there, there's uh, there's nothing we can do other than help each other. Uh, form resistance groups, sanctuary groups in the states. How uh, Donald Trump has no heart, has no soul uh, to tear apart families because they're Hispanic. And what's going to happen to your economy if Donald Trump uh, exports or, or imprisons all these illegal immigrants well, there goes your agricultural industry, California, because you're sure as hell not going to want to stand out there in the hot sun harvesting tomatoes or green peppers in August. So this alone will cost America money. But what's, what, what's more deeply disturbing is the cost on a moral and spiritual level for America. America, I love you America. I have loved uh, your people. Your people are wonderful. Your politicians are absolutely fucking batshit crazy. This will be a shout out to all the people, my people, the clan of conscience, the people that are out there. It's a very small clan, the clan of conscience, people of conscience. I love you guys and you know who you are. I love you guys. The people that are producing content on YouTube, but more importantly, are actually committing themselves through their actions to show, to show the rest of the world around them that you can make a difference by the way you act based on conscience. And this is, this is a shout out. I love you guys. I love you guys. You know who you are. And I'm learning from you people like a person like Glenn Woodford. Shout out to Glenn and Vegematic Chris. Lonnie Clark, Dana Durnford. Well, I'm, I'm getting a little bit of, of backlash against this, which I love because uh, Mr. Patriot, Patriots are us. Patriots are us sent me a message saying, if you live in Canada, stop concerning yourself with the business of the U.S. Your country is in major trouble. Okay, uh, time to look there for crap to talk about. Stay out of our business. So I responded to uh, Mr. Patriots R Us saying, Canada is little more than a corporate subsidiary of America. Therefore, what happens in America affects us almost as much as you. I do find it interesting that you are dil diligently trying to silence me. But perhaps the fact that 90% of my subscribers are Americans who agree with my point of view, I suppose you want them to shut up also. Afraid I might ruffle some feathers on your dictator's head? Your comment is as vacuous and ignorant as hair drumpf. Have fun trickling down. He hasn't responded to that. They never do. I, I mean, I love getting hate hate stuff, and it's just like, mind your own business. Okay, well, all right. 
you do not want somebody commenting about American politics that probably knows way more about the way your system works than they do. And because I live on the northern side of the 49th parallel, for which I am increasingly grateful, I have no right to express an opinion. Might I bring up some Canadians working down there uh, for your uh, mainstream media? Lots of them. We, we punch way above our numbers for music, comedy, all that stuff, right? But I, I'm not going to stand here and say how wonderful Canada is. Yes, we certainly have some problems. There is most of it to do with wealth and equality and the same bullshit that's been going on uh, south of the border for as many years. And don't think we're not affected by it. <sighs> so what do you guys think? Because I'm living in Canada, that I, do I have a right to comment on what's going on in the world? I will comment on other countries too if they become as relevant to me as the American the American nightmare just a few miles down the 401 or do you think because I'm a Canadian I should shut up we'll take a poll thing leaked over and over they had to clean it up there was a fucking small earthquake then there was a tornado and my thing is if if we can all come together and and speak out about nuclear about these plants i mean there's a two or three videos out and it shows all the guys that worked here was didn't have no protection. They had Geiger counters that he said would just go off of the fucking charts, man. And he won't come on record because he's scared. Everybody's scared to say uh, shit around here, man. It's a small town. You can be gone just like that. So, anyway, he says that they could taste it in their mouth, in the back of their throats, constantly. And when there was a spill of any kind, any kind, he said that they would take a broom and just sweep it either in a grate that goes out to the thing or uh, just out in the parking lot. Said it was all over their clothes. They would eat at the table and he said they would have to wipe off the, the, the fucking dust and the shit just to eat. But I guess they were being lied to and they was all... Uh, no to the fact that it was killing them all right all right out here at the gashes diffusion plant solar panels <laughs> this, this is the greatest thing ever nuclear plant sport loop nuclear all that shit and they have I don't know if you can see it they have solar panels. It's been a hell of a time over the holidays. And we're witnessing some pretty really strange and unusual things and the expansion of the surveillance state, the uh, continuing poisoning of the planet through Fukushima leaking God knows how many tons of radioactive waste into the Pacific Ocean. Uh, and, and then we have climate change to worry about. And, and the, this, you know, the ice caps have no, no ice anymore and we're all fucked. And like my friend Hambone says, we're so fucked. And Hambone, I'd like you to sing that song again. I'd like to kind of edit it a little bit, play with it. If you're, it, you know, I, I love that. You, you know, we are so fucked. That sums everything up so succinctly. And uh, although we are so fucked, we are also becoming a community. 
and I'm thanking uh, my friends that let me post little clips of their channel and and for God's sakes come on let's build this community a little bit larger okay uh, my friends that are out there the people that subscribe to me uh, you know put up something on YouTube uh, you know let, let's annoy the hell out of them and do, do what I do and don't monetize anything so that they can't run commercials on it well you want you know you know you're never gonna gonna become famous but is that the point no it's not the point the point is that we create something and we create energy and we uh, emit love into the universe which is the opposite of the destructive forces that are overwhelming us and fucking ready to kill us all okay we're, we're just like you know okay okay yeah. Trumpism man Trumpism I don't know who would have been worse I don't know if Hillary or, or Trump would have been worse but Trump is kind of he's an unknown quantity because he's he's this psychotic kind of guy so whatever it's like I don't know he's, he's sort of a cross between uh, Idi Amin and um, let me think Idi Amin and Mussolini that's it okay so yeah uh, how far he will be able to go is the only the only question and of course the the man loves torture and the limit the man loves um waterboarding and it doesn't go far enough okay so we will start by hiring jesse ventura i'm starting a gofundme page uh to pay jesse ventura to waterboard donald trump I think it would be amusing, entertaining, uh, and I really think Jesse would get into that quite a bit, you know. Just saying. Did you guys hear the, the news story about the pilot that got arrested uh, for being totally pissed drunk uh, when he was ready to, to fly the plane and he passed out and thankfully he passed out. The rest of the crew noticed that the guy was probably incapable. I was thinking, how fucked up do you have to be to have a couple of hundred people in <laughs> entrusted in you and get all tanked up before you pilot an aircraft? But that's that's the level of psychopathy that we're living in. It's just it's the culture of narcissism. And as we enter this brave new world of melting polar ice caps, of uh, Fukushima poisoning the oceans, of heat waves burning up the trees, let's get together and think of maybe there's some sort of resistance we can do to this shit. Maybe there's something we can do to fight back. I know it's a long shot, but hey, we haven't got anything better to do. And that's what Vegematic Channel is all about. So please, uh, I, I don't want your money. I don't run ads. What I want is a cooperative of like-minded souls who want to produce a little bit of content. And it, it will run on, on my humble little channel and I will edit it uh, and make it as entertaining and, and positive as I can do. Okay, so I did my daily duty today. I made fun of Herr Drumpf at uh, the beginning of the video you, you saw, uh, you know. Uh, and I encourage everybody. Um, you know what? Nobody subscribed to the channel in weeks. I don't know why. I was getting all kinds of subscriptions and then all of a sudden they just took a fucking nosedive. And I figure, well, it's something to do with the, 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 the fascist algorithms. Fucking algorithms. I hate that word. I hate, I hate algorithms. I hate the fucking word. It just sucks, right? It's like, well, that's the algorithm that did that. Well, what about the human who programmed the fucking algorithm? Anyway. I digress. I'm getting confused. That's probably because it's getting closer to midnight. It's 1030 on New Year's Eve and I'm drinking more than I should be. So what better time to make a video and what better time to say thank you to all my friends that leave the beautiful content on my comments and, and even the people that say nasty things. You know what? 
I don't care. It's kind of entertaining for me. Uh, if I don't see your comment, it's YouTube sends all kinds of shit into spam. I don't know why. So I'm going to announce a contest, okay? The contest is the next person that subscribes to me or, or get, you know, get people to subscribe to me, I will... I think it's some prize I can send something like no you know what I just can't get into that they said the, the YouTube book I said uh, hold contests no I just want the one one more person to subscribe that's all is that so much to fucking ask I don't think so I don't think so but apparently Google disagrees they don't think I deserve any more subscribers I think that you the subscribing public should decide that but no the algorithm that damn fascist algorithm at it again destroying everything everything in its path commercializing it turning it to shit everything turns to shit i think that's what i want engraved on my gravestone everything turns to shit You know, life is a lot shorter than we think it's going to be, no matter what age we are, because time speeds up as you age. And uh, tonight I, I visited with my couple of my sisters and my uh, almost 90-year-old mother and uh, it, it did a little trip down memory lane. And I realized that even my mother, who is 89 years old, has felt it life has been gone over within a flash and, and it is truly in a flash we're probably unable to perceive the concept of timelessness and I think that's maybe built into us for a reason I don't know but I think the, the concept of it, eternity is not out of the question given what we know about the universe I mean energy changes forms but it never really disappears right so maybe there's something to be learned from this journey on planet earth but then again fuck it maybe you should just get drunk January that was his god that's what he believed Janus, January. So, uh, if you're out there and you're uh, partying hard and you're feeling loose and you uh, letting go of some of them stresses from uh, 2016, just be safe, man. Don't drink and drive. Don't smoke and drive. Uh, don't let the police get you. Some of them I will report to you and get pissed off on it and, and try to give you some leaks or 
information or something like that, but what I want to do is show my progression in what I'm trying to evolve into through consciousness, through any outlet that I can plug in and do that gives me more determination and love to be a human being.